In this video, we will learn how lakes are formed. A lake is a body of water that is surrounded by land. Most lakes are fed and drained by rivers and streams, which get water from rain, snow, melting ice and groundwater seepage. That means a lake is a low-lying land, which can also be called a basin. That's how a lake will have water. Lakes are found in every kind of environment, mountains, deserts, plains and near coastlines. Lakes are both small as well as big in size. Small lakes are often referred to as ponds, whereas a big lake can also be called a sea. The Caspian Sea in Europe and Asia is the world's largest lake. Then there is Aral Sea, Dead Sea, etc. Lakes are both freshwater as well as saltwater, but most of them are freshwater. You can figure that out by looking at the water source. Saltwater lakes usually exist near coastal areas. I have a playlist dedicated to lakes in India. In that, you will find videos describing lakes that exist in different parts of India. Have a look at it, you will learn a lot about Indian lakes. Lakes also vary greatly in depth. The world's deepest lake is Lake Baikal in Russia. It is nearly 2 km below the surface. Lakes also exist at many different elevations. One of the highest is Lake Titicaca in the Andes Mountains between Bolivia and Peru. It is about 3810 meters above sea level. All lakes are either open or closed. If water leaves a lake by a river or other outlet, it is said to be an open lake. All freshwater lakes are usually open lakes. If water disappears from a lake by evaporation, then that lake is said to be a closed lake. Closed lakes usually become saline or salty. This is because as the water evaporates, it leaves behind solid matter which is mostly salt. As I have said, lakes are basically basins. So lakes or basins are formed by constant erosion processes of rivers and streams. When rivers continuously flow at a particular region, it takes away a lot of sediment which then creates a land depression or a basin. Lakes are also formed due to tectonic activity like earthquakes which triggers a landslide which then creates a low land. Many lakes are also formed because of volcanoes. After a volcano becomes inactive, its crater fills with rain or melted snow. Even glacial activities can contribute towards the formation of a basin or lake. Glaciers carve the entire landscape with its slow movement, which then gets filled up with water from both sea as well as rivers. Then there is something called artificial lakes. Lakes are also made by digging land or by building a dam on a river. These artificial lakes are also called reservoirs, where water is stored for irrigation, drinking and industrial use.